Welcome. So what I'm going to do is show you how to solve this linear system by using substitution. Now, I know I'm using some variables, C and D, some things that you, we don't really use as much um, you know, compared to like an X and Y. However, by solving by substitution, it doesn't really matter what variables we use. We need to find the values for C and for D that are going to be true for both equations. So to apply by the substitution, what I want to do is I want to make sure that one of my variables is going to be isolated, which in this case, you can see my D is isolated, which will be perfect. So then what I'm going to do is, since I know the value of D equals 4, I'm going to substitute in that value for the variable into the other equation. So when doing that, I'll now write 3C plus 2. And instead of writing times D, I'm going to write, well, D is equal to 4 equals 2. So you can see what I did is I took one of the equations and I plugged it in for one of the variables of the other equation. I did this because you can see now I have what I've done is I've created an equation where now I know um, I only have created an equation where there's only one value uh, or one variable now I can solve for. So now I just need to simplify. So I have 3c plus 2 times 4 is going to be 8. That's a horrible 8. Let me uh, fix that. Equals 2. Now, I'll solve for my c by using my inverse operation. So 3c equals 2 minus uh, negative 8 is negative 6. Divide by 3, divide by 3, c equals negative 2. Now, remember, when solving a system, we need to find the value for both variables. We need to find the value of c and for d. Well, what's nice about this problem is they already tell us this equation is true when d equals 4 and also when c equals negative 2. And we can always check our equation to make sure that is going to be true by plugging back in our values for c and for d. And if both of our variables are true and make this equation true, we know that it's, it's going to be the solution to our equation. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus 8 equals 2. That, of course, equals 2. So therefore, we know it makes our equation true. It's obviously true for the second equation, because that's the only part. So therefore, that's how you solve by using substitution. Thanks.